Hey, what's up everybody? We're back. Uh, we're dyno testing a few things on the uh, Mustang right now, primarily the intercooler and a few other ideas we're throwing around for the intercooler. Uh, let's get back underneath the car. We're going to show you the uh, rear suspension and what's different about it with the uh, 2015 changes as well as the performance pack specific parts for the rear suspension. Right here you see probably the most prevalent part of the rear suspension is this forged aluminum lower control arm. Um, it houses both the spring and the shock. The shock mounts from the bottom here. Um, shock changes will be pretty quick on this setup. It's not very difficult. Um, like I pointed out in the front, the uh, because we have the performance package, the uh, rear also uses quite a few of the uh, spherical pillow ball bushings as well as the front. Um, I found there are three areas, three bushings here that use a pillow ball. It is, there's one up here, one here with the uh, knuckle, and this one up here. Because we have the performance package, the uh, rear sway bar on our car is a little bit upsized. Um, I don't know offhand what the stock rear sway bar is, but this is 21.7 millimeters. I measured it with my micrometer. Also, it's on here, this little build tag for the uh, assembly line so they know what to put, they, to put the right sway bar on the car. I touched on the rear differential before. It's very big, very beefy. It's a four-point mounting system. There's two bushings up front, and these two bushings in the rear where it mounts to the subframe. Um, a good upgrade is going to be uh, replacing those bushings with either urethane bushings or urethane inserts to give you a little bit better traction coming out of the hole, um, a little bit better shift quality, and a little bit less wheel hop. Um, I've done this improvement to cars in the past, whether it's a Subaru or a 350Z, and it makes a huge difference. So look to find replacements of these bushings by the aftermarket very soon. Um, I would definitely recommend upgrading those as well as the rear subframe bushings. 